All right, what we have here is two Dell XPS 15 laptops. These are the second generation Core i7 laptops. Now, both of these machines are identical. That means they have the exact same hardware except one key element, the processor. So uh, one of these has a quad core processor that turbo boosts only 3.3 gigahertz. The other one has a dual core and it turbo boosts to 3.4 gigahertz. So StarCraft 2, well known for being a dual thread uh, pro game. Just wanna know if it actually makes that much of a difference to have a quad core or if the dual core being higher megahertz actually makes any difference or introduces a speed improvement. So what we're seeing here is that the quad core is getting about 75 frames in certain cases, whereas the dual core is only hitting about less than 60. So in most cases, we're seeing about a 20% difference in favor of the quad core, despite being lower megahertz. Now this is uh, quite ironic because StarCraft II is again only supposed to use two threads but apparently all the background processes can make a difference and uh, so for this is a four versus four during the end game on a very large map so we've uh, practically stressed the CPU as much as possible taking the graphics card out of the equation for the most part this is running at 1080p on low settings and uh, once again, we're seeing about a 10%, uh, I'm sorry, 10 frames per second difference between the two. Now, the advantage you get with the dual core is that it burns 35 watts as opposed to 45 watts. And uh, for a machine of this caliber, I doubt the battery life is a key concern. Um, so there you have it. If you had any doubts as far as... Uh, gaming goes whether the dual core actually is any better um, don't get it it's not it's not right <laughs> the uh, quad core is in fact better now why would I compare do these two CPUs it turns out the pricing is very similar there's only a $30 price difference between the two if you try to configure the XPS 15 on Dell's website at the current time so there you have it quad core wins and uh, one key note is that the quad core has pretty decent battery life now when you're idling just browsing the web uh, doing the usual non CPU intensive activities it turns down to about 800 megahertz and literally burns about 10 watts and uh, given a 48 watt battery as the standard 6 cell this laptop literally lasts you more than four hours with uh, just minimum usage and the LED set on low. Now one key point about this laptop is that the screen is not LED backlit. It's full um, red, blue, green LED. That means each individual pixel is actually three different uh, colored LEDs. There's no LED backlight. With the standard LED, it's actually a LCD front panel with a, with a white LED in the back. So I don't know if this technology actually saves more power than the standard LCD with the LED backlight, but uh, the key thing about the color saturation of the RGB LED is just supremely intense. Um, in fact, it puts uh, even modern LCD backlit with LEDs to shame. So as far as I'm concerned, um, this is one of the few laptops that you can actually get an RGB LED with. And at first the uh, color saturation might even be a little bit annoying, but once you get used to it, you will learn to love it. It's uh, one of the few laptops that has it. Haven't really seen any other uh, laptops have this option. I uh, don't know how Dell managed to get their hands on it, but it's uh, very impressive for gaming indeed. Alright, thanks for that. Hope you guys uh, get the laptop you want.